All right, pardon the hair. Uh, this is a DotCast special report on this 11th day of March 2018. I'm Ron Juckett, and we're on the YouTube at the moment because uh, the Philadelphia Phillies have signed who most of you wanted the Washington Nationals to grab, and that is free agent pitcher Jake Arrieta. As far as I know, it's a three-year deal. It's been reported by Jim Salisbury. Uh, Salisbury of Comcast Sports Philadelphia or NBC Sports Philadelphia. I think it's still Comcast Sports Philadelphia and has made the rounds. We know it's a three year deal. Do not know the financial cons considerations of that deal. Um, I think for the Phillies, it puts them in a very good. I'm not going to take chat, by the way, if anyone does there. I'm just trying to keep Twitter open. So if I see a dollar sign, it. While I'm talking, I can pass that along. I think for the Phillies, it's a good deal. Uh, it makes them wild card contenders because they have so much money free for next year. I mean, coming into this, they had one of the lowest payrolls in the national in all of Major League Baseball, let alone the National League. So they could afford to do it. I'm surprised it's only a three year deal. But considering that they have tens of millions to spend next year in free agency along with some good stuff going on within their own farm system, I think they can contend. I'm not sure they can contend for a National League East crown this year, but 85 wins gets you in the wild card. The downside to Arietta is he's lost two or three miles off his fastball the last couple of years. He hasn't been all that durable the last couple of years, and – We'll just see what kind of goes on from here. I mean, yes, it's a good name on paper, but we'll see how much the Phillies can can catch up to the Nets. And they might be able to, to compete with the Mets for second place, but it all depends on what they have from Arietta. Uh, can Arietta pitch on opening day? Man, you know, I'm, it depends on how much work he's done. Uh I don't think he'll be right, fully stretched out by opening day. Uh, starters this time around are going for 75 pitches in the in their next start, and he hasn't done anything. We'll see how much he's worked um, and all that. So we'll see. For the Nats, I, I think they're pretty happy with what they have now. They're certainly over the luxury tax, and it really depends on uh, you know just how much money – uh, really depend on. I'm trying to read three things at once here. It depends on what he gets for money. The Nats are already over the luxury tax as it was. If he gets 20 million, the Nats were paying 30 percent on top of that. So it's going to be, you know, for every every million dollars above 197 million in their annual average payroll, it was going to cost him 30 percent. So this would have cost a lot of money to have Arietta for this year. Um, but again, I thought, you know, think if they would have, you know, if it's within 20, 25 million, I thought that was money they could have spent. So they're going to go with right now what they have, the Nats are. Uh, it'll be Gio Gonzalez and Tanner Roark who are going to be the back end starters who you would normally see in a playoff game. The good news or the news th that the Nats, I think, are going to go with here is look, whatever hole we need to fill, whether it's a, as my cat screams at my door, um, whether if they, whatever hole they need to fill, whether it's another starter or whether it's a catcher to go with Matt Weeders, they're going to go to July and they're going to have some options there. They're going to be able to, do, they have some trade chips. So I don't think all is lost as far as, you know, the Nats are going to be able to help themselves if they need it. But uh, does it make the division that much tighter? Maybe. We'll see in a couple days what fan grabs projects that out to. Um, but for now, the Phillies are, are serious about what they're going to do. Um, and I really wouldn't worry too much about what it is. You know, the Nats are still the best team in the division. Next year's another story, especially depending on uh, what happens in free agency. Um, we'll see what happens. I know the first, I, I'll read the tweet I've got here from Never Bigotry. I get that it costs Phillies much less in picks. They've given up on their draft pick for this because Arietta had uh, the cute qualifying offer there. But you're just allowing them a real good shot in the division, disappointed. Yeah, I understand that to a degree, but I don't think they're there yet. 
We'll see. Now, Arietta might go out and win 20 games this year. Uh, but again, we'll see. So for the moment, we know that J.K. Arietta has signed a deal with the Philadelphia Phillies three years. We don't know the money. We don't know any other specifics if there's an opt-out in year one or year two or whatever. But that's what it is. And so the Nats did what I thought they would do, and they were going to stay the course and let and see what the first half of the season holds for them. One of us, Drew or I, will have further words on this tomorrow at District on Deck. Follow us on Twitter at District on Deck. Give us a like at Facebook at District on Deck. Oh, my goodness gracious. Just Bob Nightingale just put this $75 million for three years. Yeah, I'd pass on that. I'd pass on that. That's a lot of money. So there you go. Three years, $75 million for Jake Arietta. So there you go. We'll have more on this on the website tomorrow, districtondeck.com. For now, I'm Ron Chuckett for District on Deck. We'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll talk to you Tuesday night. It's after the ballgame.